Hey guys, this is Barbara from Inspired Paper and Designs and also Barbara Journals. Today I want to show you um, a neat little decorating hack, we'll call it, that you can use when you purchase my, turn, my journal templates and also my quick and easy planner set. So when you grab the Canva journal templates, you'll see this is all that you get. And sometimes if I'm adding more designs, I, you know, I just throw it in there. So we're going to say, let's say you have, you just want to make like a basic journal page. There's two things that you can do. If you go to backgrounds, and I'm just going to scroll this up a bit. You can select one of these backgrounds and I'm going to choose I'm not going to choose food. I see the food one and it really looks good. Let me see. I might choose a food one. I was going to do flowers like I normally do, but let me see. I kind of like the food because it's really, really colorful. All right. So let's do, looks like it's Skittles or M&Ms. It's M&Ms. Okay. I see the M right here. <laughs> All right. So I chose a background from Canva and you want to make sure that you pay attention to Canva licensing when it comes to using their backgrounds. Um, also, just to make you aware, I am a Canva, a certified Canva creative, which means there are some features that I may have access to that you may not. Also, it also includes that I have the pro version and not the free version. But if you click the link below this video, you can try out the free version for 30 days. So I strong, I mean, try out the pro version for 30 days. And I think once you try it out, you're going to absolutely love it. So anyway, I have this in the background. So what I could do is click on transparency and make it transparent. So that way it's there, but it's not really there. You know what I mean? As far as you can type on the lines and still see that in the background. And I'm going to go to my flower one just because I like the flower one better. But I wanted you to get an idea of how the transparency works. There we go. So same thing. I can just click on transparency and just kind of fade to black. My document isn't white. So that's why that happens. See how it says document colors. But once I make it white, now you can see. So you want to make sure your document is white. And you can see that it's in the background. And it's not overpowering the line so people can still write on it and see what they're writing and still see the background. And you can always play around with the transparency to get it how you would like for it to look. So that's one thing you can do. And the other thing you can do, see how bold that is. Another thing you can do is go to elements. Go to, I type them rectangle at elements. And the reason why I did rectangle was because I wanted to make sure I had these in place in order to drag. And when you have a square, it doesn't give you that feature. So that's why I did that. So I'm going to go ahead and stretch up or stretch out, I should say, my rectangle. I'm going to change it to white. And as you can see, my lines are on the white rectangle, so it makes it like this is almost like a border. And when you get your backgrounds, you can use Canva backgrounds or you can grab some from Etsy. You can grab some from Creative Fabrica. Those are um, awesome places to get some really nice background from, backgrounds from, sorry about that. Or you can go to Creative Market. But those are just two simple, the, um, two simple design hacks you can use. And like I said, if you get a pack of 10, digital, you know, a pack of 10 digital paper, then that's 10 different printables that you can create and sell on Etsy or in your shop or, or however you, you know, if you want to use it as a freebie to attract clients, whatever, you know, works for you. And because with this particular pack, you get so many, I think this is 14 designs, if I'm not mistaken, that's a pack of 14 that's a pack of 14 um, printables that you can create. And then if you buy 10 pieces of digital paper, so to speak, that's 10 different listings that you can have on Etsy or in your shop, 10 different products. So that's how it would work with the Canva templates. Now, let's say you want to do it with the calendar. So I have my quick and easy planner set, and it's just a basic calendar to get you up and running. I do sell another 
pack that has more if you want to get deeper involved. But if you're just like, no, I just want to hit it and quit it. This pack is the perfect hit it and quit it as far as for creating a planner. So let's go here. So let's say you wanted to, you know, throw a background here. I'm going to do this one because it's recently used. So the same thing, see how it's in the back? I'm going to change the document color to white. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the transparency on this one. So see how it's kind of there, but it's not really there. Again, it allows you to still be able to see the design, but the person can still write on it. And another thing that you could do also, which I'm going to, again, make this 100%, I can go ahead and grab from Elements, grab my rectangle. I think this is probably the rectangle. There we are. And I can do the same thing with the rectangle. So I would just position it accordingly. And I probably have to play with that in a minute, which I will. Um, okay. And we're going to make this white. And then what we're going to do is we're going to position it so that it's still in front of the flower design, but the calendar is on top of it. So you don't want to do to back, then that means it'll push everything. Actually, we do want to do to back because the background is already embedded on the design. So if we do to back, See, now you see just the edges of the design. Now you may want to make this smaller, move it around. I mean, it's completely up to you as far as, you know, what you're trying to do. So this, I might be able to move it in just a little bit. That's right on top. That's right on top. So see how you can still see a little bit of the border around here, like it creates a border effect. Now, depending on the design you choose, this would be different. So let's say you chose the background to be, um, a color and then right here is just the space so that I usually when I create my templates and things I leave space on the left hand side for um, hole punching so th again this might be better to see see so that would create a border like that but like I said this would be for the hole punching so that's why it looks like it's off to the side or it is off to the side or if you want to do let's see if they have another background that may have a little bit more color just so that you can see what I'm talking about Let's see. Let's see about patterns. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's see about patterns because I, I kind of want to stick with the patterns. We may also be able to do that with a pattern background as well. Let's see. Let's see what pops up. All right, so now let's do patterns. Let's try it again. And let's see if more pops up. Okay, it's slowly loading. All right. So let's say we wanted to do, trying to find a different type of background. Let's see. So let's say if we wanted to do that one. See, you can see more of the, you can see more of it right there. And again, this is just because this is a calendar and you would have to play around with it. The best thing is probably not to use the white box, but to just make, maybe make this transparent. That's not the best design. You might, you want to use something like, like the flowers that I had. If you do more of a solid background like this, then you want to use the, back, the box. But I would say, and that's just my suggestion, but I would say if you're doing something that's not so strong, so to speak, as far as color or not a solid color, like for example, with the flower pattern that we had, it was perfect because it had parts of it that was white. So it didn't make it so bad. Here's another one too. There's another one. So again, you would just click on it and we would make it more transparent. So that's just a quick hack for you guys in regards to designing. Again, you would just buy background paper and you can either put a white rectangle on it in order to make it give you a border effect or you can just hit transparency and push it to the back so that way this stands out a little bit more if you guys have any questions definitely feel free to drop them below make sure you like and share also if you click the bell whenever i go live you'll definitely get a notification letting you know so that you don't miss out on any tips and tricks you can use to create journals notebooks and 
planners on Canva. All right, guys, have an amazing day and I'll talk to you soon.